This is a time-lapse video shot on the A1 Mini. And here's one from the P1S. The video quality from these built-in cameras is good enough for basic monitoring, like checking on your prints remotely, but it falls short if you're aiming for high-quality footage. On the A1 series especially, the camera's fixed position makes it hard to capture the entire print bed. Unfortunately, you can't just swap out the built-in camera. And by default, there's no way for the printer to communicate with an external camera to trigger a photo after each layer. So creating smooth, high-quality time lapses usually means installing extra hardware, modifying G-code, and setting up complex workarounds just to trigger your camera. But that changed when Bamboo Lab introduced Cyberbricks, a modular system of smart components for 3D-printed projects. You're watching 3D Fish, where I test 3D printable designs in real-world conditions and explore the limits of personal manufacturing. In this video, I'm reviewing one of the most practical releases in the Cyberbricks lineup, the Cyberbricks Time-Lapse Kit. This kit connects directly to your Bamboo Lab printer and remotely triggers a supported camera after each printed layer. It's a simple way to use higher quality external cameras for your time-lapse recordings. While the X1C has a decent built-in camera, I prefer using my own gear so I can shoot from different angles and get better image quality. The built-in cameras on the A1 and P1 series, in particular, suffer from heavy compression and limited resolution. Most other solutions are either more expensive, more complicated, or both. This kit is much more affordable and easier to use. The time-lapse kit is priced at around 21 US dollars, including the bamboo bus cable. That makes it one of the most cost-effective options out there for producing professional-looking time-lapse videos. Since it's a kit, you'll need to print your own enclosure. There are two case designs available on MakerWorld. What you're seeing here is the version with the sliding cover, which makes it easy to access the USB-C port if needed. When ordering, make sure to get the correct bamboo bus cable. The A1 series uses a 4-pin cable. The X1, P1, and H2 series use a 6-pin cable. If you ordered the full kit, you'll get everything you need to assemble it with your printed shell. Assembly is very simple. Just fit the board into the shell and secure it using the included screw. One important thing to note, the time-lapse kit doesn't automatically create a time-lapse video. It simply acts as a trigger for your camera. Here's how to use it. Step one, connect the kit to your printer. For A1 printers, plug the kit into the USB bus port on the side. For X1, P1, or H2 series printers, use the port on the back. And if you have an AMS unit, you can use a spare port on the AMS instead. Step two, connect your camera to the kit. The easiest method is using Bluetooth, but the kit also supports a 2.5 millimeter shutter cable and USB-C. Now, some cameras may need to be reconnected after being powered off. For example, Sony cameras like the FX30 don't remember Bluetooth pairings with third-party devices, so you'll need to repair the kit every time you turn the camera off and back on. Other brands, like Canon and Nikon, generally remember paired devices and reconnect automatically. Mobile devices such as tablets or smartphones typically reconnect on their own as well. If your camera isn't compatible with remote triggers, there's a workaround. You can use a small servo to physically press the shutter button, like on some action cameras. It's not ideal, but it works in a pinch. Once everything's connected, you're ready to print. When sending your print from the Slicer or Bamboo Handy app, make sure to enable time-lapse. Then the kit will trigger a photo capture after each completed layer. I recommend choosing smooth time-lapse instead of the traditional mode. It gives a more polished result like what you see here. Also, based on my testing, including a prime tower helps maintain better print quality during time-lapses. After the print is done, you'll need to assemble the video yourself. Import the photo sequence into a video editing program. I recommend DaVinci Resolve, which is free and powerful. You can adjust playback speed and frame duration during editing. If you want more images and a longer time-lapse, just reduce your layer height in the slicer. More layers mean more triggered photos. To summarize, the Cyberbricks time-lapse kit is an affordable, relatively simple solution for capturing high-quality 3D printing time-lapse videos. While the documentation could be clearer, the kit is easy to set up and works well with Bamboo Lab printers. It's especially useful on open frame models like the A1 series, where you have more flexibility to place your camera. After a few days of testing, I found the kit to be reliable, straightforward, and a great upgrade if you want better time-lapse quality without spending a lot more. 
If you've been looking to improve the quality of your 3D printing time-lapse videos and you don't mind a bit of DIY, this kit is absolutely worth checking out. See you in the next video. Cheers.